on the outside, the Dell Latitude 7370 looks like a Dell XPS 13. It has the same metal housing except in a more darker color. The screen has the same blueprint and uh, yes, uh, the webcam is still on the bottom of the display. So yeah, on the outside, it's practically the same, with some minor differences, but not on the inside. The Latitude series of laptops are using the Intel Core M processing units while the XPS is using the I series. The M1 is of course less powerful, but at the same time more energy efficient. They have a lower TDP rating, which in turn means that the laptop produces less heat and wastes less power. And that's why there's no fan in the laptop whatsoever. Plus, it does not have any kind of moving parts inside the system, which makes it quiet. And I mean quiet. There's no sound coming from the laptop whatsoever, except the speakers, of course. So, now that I've given you a small introduction to the Latitude series, Let's take a deeper look at the hardware that makes this laptop actually go as fast and smooth as it does. So inside, you'll find the aforementioned M processor. This exact unit has the M5 paired with 8 gigs of RAM. And as for storage, we have got a 256 gigabyte PCIe SSD. We also have a 13 inch Full HD Infinity Edge IPS display, which is 1920 by 1080 in resolution. Now, the top level specifications are the M7 processor, 512 gigs of PCIe SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and the QHD Plus Infinity Edge display with a resolution of 3200 by 1800. On the top, you'll find the dark aluminum housing. Along the sides, you, you will find some beautiful chamfered edges. And uh, in terms of ports, there is two USB Type-C ports, both capable of charging the, the laptop. Uh, besides that, there is a micro HDMI port and a SIM card slot. And there's also an SC card slot if used in a business environment. On the other side, you will find a Kensington lock, a full-size USB port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. Anyway, on the inside, there's the usual stuff, except that there's also a fingerprint reader that can be used for Windows Hello and more. The inside surface is made of plastic, but that does not make the laptop any less premium. The body itself is very sturdy, and there's not much flexing going on at all. The Latitude has the usual keyboard layout, except that there's of course no number pad. Above the keyboard, there are two microphones. And on the top right side of the keyboard, there's the power button. Now, the actual keyboard is great. It has short travel distance with a satisfying click and the actual keys feel sturdy. And I actually wrote this entire script on this keyboard. The keyboard backlight automatically turns off after some time being inactive to help save battery life. Um, talking about battery life, you know, it's the usual stuff. Nothing too spectacular and not too bad at all either. But I'd say that it's above average though, thanks to the lower wattage CPU. The webcam is good, but it's not in the best position really, which kind of makes it unusable. But then again, the Infinity Edge display is too awesome to even care. The small bezels are awesome, and the screen itself has great colors and viewing angles. The Full HD option has an anti-glare coating on top of the display, which makes it great outdoors, but the QHD Plus option does not, as it has Gorilla Glass instead. The screen can also fold back extremely far, which I guess is a plus for some people. The fingerprint reader works great with Windows Hello. You can use your fingerprint to log in and access files, etc. Now, the touchpad is great. It has the usual Dell gestures like two finger scrolling, right clicking, and more. The surface is a little harsh though, so it isn't the best for smooth operations, but then again, in that case, you would just use a mouse. In terms of pre-installed applications, there's not that much bad stuff that you would never use. So yeah, that's great. Uh, one program though, the Dell Audio Manager is really annoying. So uh, when you connect headphones, it automatically adjusts the audio to, to a more bass heavy signature, which sounded so bad, like there were no mids and highs at all. So 
I really do suggest turning that off. Now let's take a look at a benchmark before ending this review. Obviously, it's not a gaming device, so I will not even test that. But let's do a general benchmark like Nova Bench. In Nova Bench, it got a score of 588, which is respectful for an M processor. But anyway, in conclusion, the Latitude is an amazing laptop. I can't really wrap my head around the fact that this M processor is just as fluid in everyday tasks as the i-series. The display is one of the best in laptops right now. As long as you can get around the minor disadvantages, like the webcam placement and the so-so battery life, I think that you will be very happy with this laptop. Now, if you would like to buy it, there will be a link down below to both this Latitude laptop and also the XPS lineup, which is more geared towards normal consumers and not the business consumer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.